Hello, we are from Team SG226051, or Team Nanyang A, from Nanyang Primary School in Singapore. I am Zhang Junxi. My name is Liu Han Sharif. This is the second time we have participated in our cat Ghostly's Rescue. I have been in the School Robotics CCA for the past two years, and I have experienced the Scratch and C++ programming. In the recent USA Computing Olympiad, or USACO, I was promoted from bronze to silver. These are my achievements for the past few years. Executive summary of the preliminary challenge. The challenge task is to collect objects and deposit them to earn as many points as possible. Along the way, we have to avoid traps. The category we are participating in is Cold Space Rescue U12. A problem that we faced was due to triangular walls right beside the deposit zones. The robot would not deposit the objects and would instead turn away from the deposit zones because of the triangular walls. To solve this, the robot was coded to turn towards the deposit zones when trying to turn away from triangular walls. As a result, not only is the robot able to successfully deposit a lot more objects, but it will also tend to travel straight along the borders, allowing it to collect and deposit more super and super class objects. As mentioned earlier, we had a problem when the robot would turn the wrong way when sensing the triangular wall next to the deposit zone. As shown in the video, the robot turns right when sensing a triangular wall. In the game, the robot will not deposit at all, it just keeps happening. To solve this, we added a special condition in our code. When the robot is in X2, Y2, and its ultrasonic sensor is in this range, it is sensing a triangular wall. We found this out by observing the ultrasonic sensor readings whenever the robot sets a triangular wall. If the conditions are fulfilled, the robot will turn left into the deposit zone. Of course, we also did this for the other deposit zone, which cannot be seen here, but you will see it in the game video later on. So this is what happens after we implement the algorithm. As you can see, after setting a triangular wall, the robot turns into the deposit zone. However, if you are using a different map, you may need to change the code a bit. This is part of one of our games in the preliminary round. The robot moves and collects a sign object. Now, it has two blacks, two reds, and two signs in its backpack. Because there's these objects, it will generate a superclass object when deposited, like right now. However, you can't find it right now. It's either not generating, not loading, or it's hidden somewhere. Now, it has a sign object worth 15 points. It is now in a special zone. It collects a red object, normally worth 10 points, but because it's in a special zone, it's worth 20 points. It collects another one of these in a special zone. Now, it leaves a special zone, it collects a black object, normally worth 20 points. It senses a tree like object. It turns around, collecting another sign object. Now, it has one more object to go before its backpack is filled. It's collecting an object right now. Oh wow, it's a super class object. Now, it's heading towards the deposit zone to deposit all these objects. Now, after depositing, it gets 1000 points and its backpack is clear. Here are the scores we obtained in the preliminary round. Our average score is 1170 and our highest score is 1510. Rescue robots can be used in the search for victims and survivors after disasters. In real disasters, the scene could contain many more complex obstacles. Robots will make use of their ultrasonic sensors to find out when and where to turn. The ultrasonic sensors are also used to sense for human bodies along with the infrared sensors. In the photo, it's one of the robots sent into the rubble to look for survivors and bodies after the 911 attack in New York. With the knowledge we have gained, we can help the robot to turn at different angles depending on the obstacle, allowing it to evade them, find and rescue the victims and survivors faster. This is the end of the presentation. Thank you for your kind attention.